conversations on the referendum is still ongoing. This time around, Asantehini Otun Fosei to the second has called for calm in the ongoing debate over political parties sponsoring candidates at local level elections. Delivering a lecture at the University of Professional Studies, Accra, he advised politicians to see going into politics as a way of service to the nation and not a means for wealth making. The leadership lecture by the University of Professional Studies Accra, UPSA, was the third in a series. The Asantehi Otunfo say to the second, an alumnus of UPSA noted peace and order were the preconditions for national development and thus the survival of the state depended upon its ability to conduct free and fair elections. He said it was the country's ability to conduct such elections peacefully and in the process ensure a smooth transfer of power that had given the Fourth Republic the universal respect within the international community. The Asantehe added his voice on the ongoing debate on the December 17 referendum. Local government in the modern era is only traditional governance in Western attire. How is it possible then that the central government representing the modern state and Nananum representing the traditional state could find no space for engagement for the consideration of a major reform of local government and to agree a common position before such crucial reforms were rolled out? Because this is a matter of such a momentous importance, I hope all concerned will step back and take the heat out so we can see the light in the discourse. He further expressed concern over the neglect of chiefs in the process. The weight of accumulated wisdom embedded in our institution, it beggars the imagination that Nananum Ni Me Togbe Na are all left as bystanders while the real issues of state are decided. I recognize that our presidents have in general tried to find their own ways of interacting with us. And these interactions have sometimes impacted upon decision making. But these acts of courtesy on their part are no substitute for a defect so glaringly and so unwise. The Vice Chancellor of UPSA, Professor Abednego Ferhi Oko Amate, praised the Asantehene for his tremendous role in national development. Meanwhile, the Asantehene has expressed misgivings over the recent abrupt termination of the membership of the Electoral Commission because of some perceived wrongdoing. In its estimation, the new commission so constituted can only win the trust of Ghanaians, especially all the political parties, if all its conducts are devoid of suspicions and favor to the appointing authority. Peace and order are the preconditions of national development. The survival of this state as a democracy depends upon our ability to conduct free and fair elections. Indeed, it is our ability to conduct such elections peacefully and in the process ensure a smooth transfer of power that has given our fourth republic the universal accolade of the international community. For the first time in the political history of Ghana, the Electoral Commission had suffered the abrupt termination of its membership as a consequence of some perceived wrongdoing. A new commission had been constituted, but not all the political parties had as yet embraced them. We will urge our consent to smoke the peace pipe so the commission can reset the button and begin preparations for the conduct of our next elections with total commitment to fairness and justice. We may find a lot to disagree with in our hearts, but reality obliges us to appreciate that continued mistrust can only be harmful to the future of this crucial institution. Speaking at the leadership lecture organized by the University of Professional Studies, UPSA, the Asantehi Otunfo say to the second, lamented the development and admonished a new commission to ensure every Ghanaian come to trust them. I cannot comprehend that persons appointed to this august body will come with the intent of compromising the integrity of the commission and working in favor of one party. So we can never get away from the fact that there would always be one appointing authority at any point in time. So However, an appointee is under no obligation to do any favors to the appointing authority. And it's our conviction that the new chair and members of the commission will endeavor to carry out their duties with impartiality and without fear or favor. The Asantehi urged politicians to put the nation first in all their deliberation to ensure holistic development.